let's take a look at how to utilize some of Photoshop's built-in tools to create an image map. Now, some of you that are in the know know that Photoshop is not the tool to actually create an image map. An image map is HTML or XHTML code that is created in some kind of text editor like Dreamweaver or like Notepad++. So we're not going to create it inside of Photoshop, but we are going to get some information from it. Two things that you're going to need for today's tutorial. You're going to need a map of the United States. The one that I have here is from Wikimedia Commons. It's the blank US map SVG. I have downloaded previously the 1000 pixel size PNG. The other thing that you're going to need is a little bit of code from W3 Schools. I got the image map from the area tag. This is what we're going to take. So control copy, command or control copy, depending on whether or not you're using a Mac. And we'll put that into the clipboard for use later. Something to note. I've already downloaded the US map. I changed the name just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to find. So I have stored it inside of a folder called images. And then I also have an HTML5 HTML file in the root level of this particular folder as well. So hotspots is this document inside of Dreamweaver. Let me close this. Now, you'll notice, you'll notice that I'm working with an HTML5 document. You can either just type it in like you see right here, or if you're in Dreamweaver, go up to File, New, come down to the HTML page type, choose doc type HTML5, and then hit Create. Because I've already done this, I'm going to hit Cancel. Over inside of your code, make sure that you're working inside a split view. Or if you're working in another editor, make sure that you can see the code. I'm going to paste the code that we just copied by hitting Command or Control V. And then I'm going to fix my indentations here just really quick. Good, and I'm going to save it again. Let's set some things up. We know that the source is incorrect. We saw that it was stored in the images folder, and it's called us underscore maps, map, excuse me, dot jpeg. My width is not 145. My height is not 126. We'll get that in just a minute. I'm going to change, excuse me, I'm going to change the alternate text. This is now going to be us map. Alt text is incredibly important for accessibility. If you have had my class for a Web 125 class, we talked about how um, non-visual browsers like Zoom Text use, use these alt tags to be able to give extra information to somebody that's trying to navigate around a page. So you must make sure that your alt tags are specified in order to provide that extra accessibility. Now, use map. Use map, we're also going to change. We're going to call this US, actually, I'm going to make that lowercase, US underscore map. This is saying, go find the map that is called US underscore map. So I'm going to change the name attribute of the map tag to make sure that it matches exactly. Okay. Map is the name of the element that's going to house the coordinates that we need to input for our particular image. One of the reasons I wanted to use Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver with you guys is because it great, shows you a really great graphical view of what we're creating. Here, I have a rectangle. The abbreviation is R-E-C-T. The coordinates are 00, 0 and 82, 126. This is the upper left-hand corner of the rectangle. And this is the lower right-hand corner of the rectangle. If you look over on my graphic editor, you can see this, this turquoise square that, is planted, that has planted itself in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. That point is 0, 0. 
and it will be for all of the images that you use on some kind of web browser. The lower right hand corner, this is the one where it's 82 pixels in on the x-axis and 126 pixels down on the y-axis. So that's how the HTML, excuse me, the browser knows how to render this is because of those two points. Now, Behind the scenes, you've got an href here and you've got another alt tag. We all know that href means point it to some place that I want it to go. We're going to be working with a hypothetical web page called colorado.html. And let's give this an alt of Colorado. Okay. Now, a circle, if you want to use a circle, the first two items here in the coordinates, they are also an X and Y point. However, they're not the upper left-hand corner because there is no upper left-hand corner of a circle. These two points are the center, the radius, excuse me, the center of the circle. So 90, 58 is this guy right here. The center of that circle is 90 points from the left, 90 pixels from the left, 58 points or pixels from the top. The three stands for the radius of the circle, meaning how wide is this going to be? Okay, so center point, radius. We're not going to be using this guy, so I'm actually going to delete it. There's one final type of area it's called a poly. Now, polys can have as many sides as you wish. It could be a triangle. It could be a quad of some kind. It could be a quint of some kind. It's, that's all great. So just know that that is possible. I'm going to delete this because we will not be working with this today. Save your files. Control or Command S. Now I'm going to update my, up my graphic. Okay. What I really, really want to show you how to do is I want to show you how to map Colorado without the use of the graphical graphic interface here. And to do that, we're going to go into Photoshop. Now, I have a window open here. It's the Info panel. If you cannot currently see your Info panel, go up to Window, come down to Info. That will display it for you. What you, you are going to be working with today is this section right here, the X and the Y axis. Now, as I scroll across my screen, you can see that I'm getting different numbers in X and Y. Photoshop is telling you where your, where your point of your, your move tool is. So this guy is 379 pixels in from the left, and 280 pixels down from the top. Now, if you're getting something weird, like three point something, 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 or five point something, 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 that means that you need to change the, the units of measurement that you're viewing in. That means that your ruler is probably in inches instead of in pixels. So you'll need to show your rulers and then right click on them and choose pixels. To view your rulers, if you don't know how to do that with your shortcut, that would be under View, Show, Rulers. Excuse me, there it is right there. Okay. Now, let's get back to mapping Colorado. Get a pen and a paper, a piece of paper, and let's start pointing here. My upper left corner is 284 by 32. The upper right corner is 402, uh, and the Y is 244. The lower left corner is 396, 335. The lower left corner is 273, 324. While we're here, let's take a look and see how big our image is. Go up to image, image size. 
It is 1,000 pixels wide by 618 pixels tall. So that's the most important information inside of Photoshop. Now, let's go back to Dreamweaver. We're going to change these coordinates. Let's type in what we just wrote down. 284 by 232. 402 by 244, 396 by 335, 273 by 324. Save it, and let's see what happens now. I have a mistake. Let me go back and check my numbers. 284 by 232, 402 by 244, 396 by 335, 273 by 324. I still have a mistake. Photoshop, you failed me, or I failed you. Okay, let me check these real quick, guys. I'm guessing it's this one. Yep. 